consider the following. This is a little complicated. I've introduced three prices here. So the prices are 1, 3, and 10. And this is my chosen bundle. The prices are 4, 3, 6. And this is my chosen bundle. 1, 1, 5. And this is my chosen bundle. First thing that I want you to do is find out expenditure. Of each choice bundle, the chosen bundle, at their own prices. Let's try this. Pause the video. Try this for yourself. If possible, make that entire matrix. Just try that once. You see this now. Now, you know, I've taken my prizes here and I have taken my bundles here. Very similar to what we did for what, okay? My price is 1, 3, 10. My bundle is 3, 1, 4. What is the expenditure? It is 1 into 3 plus 3 into 1 plus 10 into 4. Each price multiplied by their quantity. So I'm making 3 plus 3 plus 40, 6 plus 40, 46 rupees. Similarly, if I hold the price constant at 1, 3, 10, and I now ask what happens for the new bundle, 253. So this is my bundle, 253. But the prices are still 1310. How much money would I be spending? Well, it's pretty simple. I would be spending... My bundle has changed to B, 2, 5, and 3. My prices are still A, 1310. So this gives me 2 plus 15 plus 30. This gives me 47. So this is not affordable. Because the maximum I can afford is 46. Let's see the bundle C. For the bundle C, the bundle that I have is 443. That's my bundle. C is 443. So 4, 4, Three. Prices are the same. Prices are A. 1, 3, 10. How much do I spend? 4 plus 12 plus 30. This gives me 46. Is this affordable? It is affordable. Did I choose this? No. I chose bundle A. So at prices A, these prices, 1, 3, and 10, the chosen bundle was A when B was not affordable and C was affordable. Try this for B and C now. Now let us try and go ahead and check. Uh, you know, at B, that's the prices 4, 3, and 6. The first bundle, which is 3, 1, and 4, will cause, will you know, how much would that charge you? Well, if I just look here, then my bundle is 3, 1, 4. Prices are 4, 3, 6. And I add them up. 12 plus 3 plus 24, 15 plus 24, 39. You can repeat this process, right? Now just try and see this here that the affordable bundle that I had 
was B, when the prices were B. So, you know, when the price was B, at that time, and the affordable bundle was B, uh, we can try and see that the bundle A was affordable and the bundle C was not affordable. Right. Similarly, when the prices were C and the bundle chosen was also C, this is what I chose. This is what I chose here. This is what I chose here. When the chosen bundle was C, you know, all I, my income that I had was 23. I know that B was not, afford, you know, B was affordable and A was not affordable because I cannot spend 24. All I had was 23. Do you see any diagonals getting circled? No. If I look here, affordable and affordable are not coming together. So these opposite diagonals, we don't have AA coming together. If I look here, I don't see affordable and affordable coming together. If I look here, I don't see affordable and affordable coming together. In that sense, I can say that war is satisfied. Because we don't see that when one bundle was affordable, the other was chosen and other was affordable, the first was chosen. That never happened. When A was chosen, C was affordable. But when C was chosen, A was not affordable. When A was chosen, B was not affordable. When B was chosen, A was affordable. But when A was chosen, B was not there only in the picture, right? B was not affordable. So in that sense, warp is satisfied. Now, let us see about SAR. Okay. Now, when A was chosen, C was affordable. B was not affordable. So I cannot comment anything about B. But I can go ahead and say that A is revealed directly preferred over C. Now, go ahead and check. When, you know, if I look here in the next one, when B was chosen, A was affordable. But what about C? C was not affordable. When this was chosen, 41, this is affordable, but this is not affordable. This is not under my picture. A and B were affordable at this price, but B was chosen. So I can say that from here, B was revealed preferred directly over A. If I combine these two, then what do I get? B directly revealed preferred over A. A directly revealed preferred over C. Then B indirectly revealed preferred over C. Right? Now let's look at the third statement. In the third part, if I just look here, I get that, you know, at prices C, this was definitely affordable, 23. Sorry. This was affordable, but this was also affordable. B was affordable, but C was chosen. So at this price, we have C is directly revealed preferred to B. So C is directly revealed preferred over B. B is indirectly revealed preferred over C. This is against the rule. Against SAR. If one of them is directly or indirectly revealed preferred over the other, the other should never be directly or indirectly revealed preferred over the first one. So what I get is that this is a violation of SAR. Warp is satisfied. Of diagonals, I'm not getting two affordables together. But SARP is not 
satisfied. So let's try and see this thing. In the situation A, A is directly revealed preferred over C because C is affordable, but A is chosen. In the next situation, B is directly revealed preferred to A because A is affordable, 39 rupees spent, but B is what is chosen. From these two things, we know that from this and this, B over A, A over C, we know that B is indirectly revealed preferred to C. But from C, I know that when C is chosen, B is affordable. So C is directly revealed preferred over B. So I have that, you know, if I go ahead, this is my chosen bundle, chosen bundle, chosen bundle. And direct reveal, revelation, direct revelation, direct revelation. No two direct revelations are coming together. So warp is satisfied. Now let's talk about SARP. In SARP, this is done. In SARP, A is preferred over C, B over A, and C over B from direct revelation. By transitivity, indirect revelation, A over B, B over C, C over A. The data violates work, but it uh, does not violate work, but it violates SAR because I am going with inconsistent behavior, right? I'm going with inconsistent behavior. Well, if A is preferred over C, C is preferred over B, then A should be preferred over B indirectly. Look at the other way around now. If B is preferred over A and A is preferred over C, then B should be preferred over C indirectly. Look at the third one. If C is preferred over B, B is preferred over A, then C should be preferred over A also indirectly. But can we have these three things together? C over A, B over C, but A over B, no, right? So, you know, indirectly, because in the off diagonals, I see I and D coming together. Do you see this? I and D coming together. This is a violation of work. So I should not even have I and D coming together. I should not have D and D coming together in case of SAR. If that happens, then that is a violation of SAR. Okay. Another violation of SAR. Another violation of SAR. I should not have I and B coming together in the off diagonals together. That is SAR. So the data do not violate WAR, but there are three violations of SAR because I see three combinations where I and B come together. Is this okay? So let's see the statement. The strong axiom of revealed preference says that the observed choice data satisfies SAR is a condition necessary and sufficient for well-behaved preference relation that rationalizes the data. Now, please understand this thing. If SAR is satisfied, then a bigger thing is satisfied. Both direct and indirect revelations satisfy my condition. If that is the case, if directly or indirectly, both of them I have been able to satisfy, then I can go ahead and say that definitely only direct is satisfied, which means warp is for sure satisfied. So if SAR, then definitely what? Because I'm taking a bigger thing into consideration. But if war, then may 
or may not be sad which we just showed verb satisfied does not mean sarp will be satisfied but if sarp is satisfied well then i am saying that a bundle directly or indirectly is revealed preferred over the other then other will never ever be directly or indirectly revealed preferred over the first then verb is automatically satisfied right so this is important